What's up, YouTube? It's Seth here, and I'm here with uh, my friend Austin here, and we're going to be showing you guys the Noble Knights of the Round Table. It's going to be a really epic opening. I know not a lot of people love like the deck, but I mean, it's a really good deck considering what you get in it and how much cards, and it t it's pretty awesome. And uh, right here we got the uh, Gallic Overlord Sneak Peek mat, and then we got, uh, what's that mat again? Lavender Town. Yeah, the Lavender Town, Matt. It's for Pokemon for you people that likes Pokemon, which I think's both pretty similar. But anyway, we're going to get started and see how you guys like it. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Oh, look at the back of it. Huh, eh, nothing. Okay, just open it. <laughs> There's the deck. Let's open that up for you guys. Okay, so we got the uh, Merlin. Uh, Noble Knight. What was that? I don't know. Where does effect to him? I don't, I don't think I've seen him very often. When this card is normal or special summon, you can send one Noble Knight's Eclipse spell card from your deck to the graveyard. During either player's turn, you can target one Noble Arms Equip spell card and one appropriate monster on the field. Equip that Equip spell card to that appropriate monster. This effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field. Sweet. Alright, then we got the Noble Knight. Uh, some of these things have weird names to them. Yeah, just move on. I don't know his name. Uh, you can do the rest of them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot we got the ignoble knight of the black lunchroom we got noble knight metarot oh that's a cool card he's like from the knight's table i think isn't he mm -hmm. um noble knight watch Wallen, i guess that's weird noble knight drystone noble knight boars another one those are always good to have in your deck because they always help you. Especially, uh, you you guys have the if you guys have the spell card which is in this deck, it will help you guys bring a lot more of your monsters and your synchros. I mean, not synchro. I mean, I think there's a synchro for it, isn't it? Yeah, there is. Okay, so that's what I was saying. Then you have your uh, two Xyz monsters too. All right, we got the uh, Noble Knight Predator, uh, Noble Knight Edge Turn, I think. Yeah, Edge Turn. Oh, that's one of my favorite cards right there. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's pretty, I think she, uh, when she's equipped, yeah, let's, uh, say, uh, if it's a light, yeah, it's a light type monster, and you, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effect, and also, if it would or something like that, you can just, uh, detach it and destroy heart instead, instead of your, uh, Noble Knight monster. Um, we got Lady of the Lake, I know some of you guys like her. <laughs> Who wouldn't? <laughs> Um, we got Honest, we got, uh, Night Day Griffer, um, Dawn Knight, spell cards, the last chapter of the Noble Knights, that's a good card, um, there she is, guys, there she is, this is our filled spell for the Noble Knights deck, it's called Noble Knight of the Round Table, it is really good, it's what helps everybody out the most, okay, I can go next on that one, oh, we got two of them in there, I didn't, I didn't know that. Uh, Noble Arms Gallatin. You know, when I used to have a, a Noble Knights deck, that's the all, that's the one I used to use on my, uh, you know, uh, Exceeds monsters. But I didn't really use it much because it always brings your attack down stuff too. So, all right, I got two of those in there. Uh, Noble Arms. Our friend. Uh, yeah, I don't care. That, that's not a good card anyway. This is one of your main cards that you would love to use. Uh, it's Noble Arms Caliburn. Um, you can basically, uh, each turn, you can uh, gain 500 life points, and your monster gains 500 attack, I think, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Next. And it's a quick card, so you got two of those. Uh, Noble Arms of Destiny. That's a good one. I think it uh, helps and prevent it from being destroyed or something. Yeah. You got two of those in there. The Nova Arms Excal Excalibur. That's a really good card. I think you got one of them. Then you got a Dark Hole. 
uh, Swords of Revealing Light. Reinforcements of the Armory, that's really helpful in this deck. Book of the Moon. Foolish Burial, you basically just send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. Um, release Restraint Wave, you can like target one face-up equip spell, you control, destroy the equip spell, and all face-up spells and traps your opponent controls. Um, Swords at Dawn, for those of you that don't know it, it, what it does, it targets one equip spell in your graveyard, and one appropriate monster on the field, equip the equip card. During the end phase, if you activate this card, you can special summon for the rest of the turn. You can only activate it once per turn, which is awesome, though. Just for one turn. Okay, next on that one. Uh, Valon. I think I've only seen that once. You can read that. Target five Noble Knight monsters in your graveyard, including at least one Artorgus monster and at least one once. Launceland or something. Monster, banish those targets, and if you do, destroy all the cards on the field. Like I said, we can't really pronounce the names, right? So, if we mess up, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright, next. Okay, we got Call of the Haunted. That's basic. Um, we got the uh, Malevolent Castrophon. Malevolent. Malevolent, okay. Alright, next. Uh, Dimensional Prison Hall. Oh. Gosh, that, that card is a douchebag. <laughs> Psalm Warning is a really good card, although it, you got to be really careful to use it. Yeah. Um, that's one of these synchros, though, so I was right. Yeah. So you got an Ignite of the High... What is it? Land? I don't know. Land, I think. It's a really good card. You can read that effect to him. It's a synchro. Uh, one tuner plus one or more non-tuner Noble Knight monsters... When this card is Synchro Summon, you can equip one Noble Arms equipped spell card from your deck to this card. At the end of the battle phase, if this card destroyed a monster by battle and sent it to the graveyard, you can add one Noble Knight or Noble Arms card from your deck to your hand. You can only control one Ignoble Knight of high... Well, it's per turn, I think. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a really... I think this deck is really good, considering, like, what most of the cards you get is some in limited edition, which makes them worth a little bit more. And they're uh, quite, like, 70 bucks or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, next on that one. Actually, in this entire deck, they're all limited so, edition. Limited? Oh, sweet. All right, so you got your Exceed Monsters, uh, Archforce, the King of the Noble Knights. He's really good for you guys. Uh, then we got... Is that another one of them? No. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> I think that's that's cool. Uh, we got Saris, the Noble Knight of King Astro, uh, Astro, Astorgus, I think. Yeah, Astorgus. Um, I read that one. I can't see it. When this card is XZ summoned, you can target up to three Noble Arms equipped spell cards. With different names in your graveyard, equip those targets to this card. Once per turn, you can detach one XZ material from this card, then target one other monster on the field. Destroy that target. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one level 4 or higher Noble Knight monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. Alright, so that's the deck profile for you guys, and then we got some uh, extra cards that comes with it uh, to help you out in the deck if you want to put them in there, which is probably one of the best ideas. See, you got a, uh, wow, a Mystical Space Typhoon, Torrential Tribute, then you got the Compulsory uh, Evacuation, evacuation device. device, yeah, that's a good card to have in the deck, always. And here comes the mat that you get with it. Oh, wow. That is really awesome. Yep, that's awesome. <laughs> Alright, next we open it up and see what we get inside of that. I think it's the, uh, oh, sweet. I think that's a deck box, isn't it? Yeah. You gotta put it together. Yeah. Well, we're not, we're gonna, we're not gonna put it together for you guys, but I think you guys figured out how to do it, um... Anyways, I hope you guys like this video, and we're going to probably start doing doing a duel sooner or later. If you guys like this video, and you guys want to see us duel with this deck and maybe another deck, probably Fluffles or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'll be a good match, I think. 
Um, and then uh, today, we're pro probably later on, guys, we're going to do a structure deck opening. And I hope you guys like this video, and just like and subscribe. And this is Seth Bratcher here, and Austin signing out. Uh, bye.